Hey everybody, welcome to Frugal Facts. Today we're going to go over the top 10 things rich people don't spend money on. Make sure to watch until number one, because it's one of the most amazing savings tips I've ever seen. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can help you with savings tips regularly. Now let's get straight into the video. Did you know that the 26 richest people in the world collectively own as many assets as those owned by 50% of the poor people? Mind-blowing. But as wide as the wedge is, there's also a big difference in the spending habits between the rich and the low-income earners. One difference that is as clear as a neon sign is money control. The rich people are in control of their money. They don't let their money control them. A poor person comes into some money and lets it get into their head. The truth is that rich people have learned to work with their money and be successful at it. As Alfred Bester said, the whole point of extravagance is to act like a fool and feel like a fool, but enjoy it. If you adopt a rich people mindset, you will achieve success. Here are 10 things rich people don't spend money on. Number 10. Impulse Buys Some credit cards seem to be charmed. They remorselessly gobble up your money along with a good credit score. For instance, you stroll into the mall to get mint treats for your husky but decide to let your credit card control your spending and you end up with bags of shopping. But not the rich people. Some of them even lead frugal lifestyles, while hundreds of millions of dollars lie in the bank. This is by no means to say that rich people don't spend money on themselves. They do, but they ponder it first. And if they decide that it's an item of value to them, they buy it. Number 9. Designer Brands while you're out there rocking your $5,000 Rolex, Bill Gates, one of the wealthiest men in the world, wears his $10 watch with pride. What about IKEA's founder, Ingvar Kamprat? He used to buy secondhand shirts from flea markets. While the rest of us are breaking banks to dress and look wealthy, <laughs> the rich ones don't care. They can afford $150,000 designer mink coats and $2 million Tom Ford shoes, but more often than not, you'll see a rich person wearing a standard shirt and a pair of $90 Converse shoes. They don't have anything to prove, and that's why they choose comfort over brands and prices. Number 8. High-Cost Real Estate Everybody loves luxury. What wouldn't you give to live in a big house that has a heated swimming pool and a smart home devices that can cook for you? Sounds like a fairy tale, doesn't it? You take out large mortgage loans that you'll most likely repay for the rest of your life so you can live in luxury. The question is, what then? While you ponder that, it's important to know that Warren Buffett, a billionaire investor who is one of the top three richest men in the world, still lives in the home he purchased for $31,500 in the year 1958, which, in the current market, is worth $625,000. How modest is that? Millionaires can afford the most luxurious mansions, but they also love good deals and are not shy of negotiating, more so because they don't want to feel like they're being ripped off. Even when they can spend millions to buy a nice house, they still negotiate for better deals. For example, even though Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg can afford a more luxurious house, his five-bedroom home in Lake Tahoe is worth $7 million. Number 7. Multiple Credit Cards if you were a millionaire, you wouldn't want to be caught dead carrying a load of cash. Probably have five credit cards from the most renowned banks in the world. But that is what would differentiate you from the other millionaires. According to Tom Corley, author of the bestseller Rich Habits, The Daily Habits of Successful People, 77% of low-income earners have several credit cards, while the number of rich people who have more than one card stands at 8%. And here's why. It is easy to track their finances and how they're spending them. Credit card charges do not add up because they only have to pay for one card. They have fewer opportunities to buy things they don't need. Another thing worth noting is that rich people don't see their credit cards as a way of paying for things they can't afford. They view them as instruments of security because they allow them to get credit card rewards such as cash back and other benefits. Most rich people have good credit scores and credit card rewards are approved to a person whose credit score is good. Number 6. Debts When you look at your credit card, what emotion comes to you? Is it a pleasant one or, or a worried one? 
If you ask people who have huge debts what their biggest hurdle in life is, they'd unanimously say debt. Debts are the number one cause of financial troubles. You can never achieve financial freedom if, whenever you get your income, the biggest chunk of it goes towards paying off debts. Not to say that rich people don't enter into debts. They most certainly do, but they use debt for profit. Research shows that whereas 90% of poor people run credit card balances, only 5% of the rich carry credit card balances at all. In which percentage do you stand? Number 5. Fashion Trends Every time a new trend emerges, you'll see hordes of people flocking into the store to clear the racks. For example, clothing, shoes, bags, or any other item may trend so much that every few steps you take, there is someone with that particular fashion item. Most times, these items are overpriced, and because people love new things, they either disregard the price tag or go into debt to own it. Rich people don't feel the urge to buy an item just because it's currently in fashion. They opt to keep it simple and classy. They choose quality, long-lasting items over fashion any day, and don't feel the need to buy a new thing that serves the same purpose as something they already have. Number 4. Success Coaches have you ever enrolled for a premium online or one-on-one -on -one course that teaches about success and personal growth, only to find out they didn't work as well as you thought they would? Did they even work at all? This illusion of instant success makes low-income groups pay for courses and seminars that promise them an instant success. And when they reach a point where the said transformation is meant to happen, Additional features are added to upsell the scheme and keep them coming back, which causes them to spend more. Wealthy, successful people do not spend money on such seminars. They meet a group of like-minded people or those that are more successful than they are and brainstorm ideas and workable solutions. Also, because many successful people have built their businesses from the ground up, they have first-hand experience on the ins and outs of achieving success. Number 3 gadgets. When the iPhone 12 Pro was released back in November of 2020, it was selling at $1,099. That is an amount that takes some people a long time to put together, and the price hike didn't stop there. Throngs of people lined up at the Apple Store to make purchases. But giving credit where it's due, Apple has quality gadgets such as AirPods, the Apple Watch, the iPad, Mac, and of course the iPhone but it is more likely that half the people that throng the store had working phones by the time of the purchase. Rich people don't get excited about the new gadgets that enter the market, as long as the ones that they have are working fine. That said, it's rare that a rich person will buy a poor quality gadget. He'll spend a small fortune on a superior gadget that he knows is going to serve him well for a long time. Number 2. Get Rich Quick Schemes Go to a fortune teller and they'll tell you everything you need to hear. Better still, subscribe to the astrologers and they promise you how they've worked on your chart and that there's a financial breakthrough coming soon. They ask you to fill out a form, and the next page that pops up asks you to part with $69 or, or whatever amount. If you believe in astrologers and palm readers, good for you. But billionaire investor Warren Buffett clearly said it right. Keep things simple and don't swing for the fences. When promised quick profits, respond with a quick no. A rich person has no business visiting fortune tellers to get his reading from a crystal ball. What is a fortune teller going to offer him that he doesn't already have? If his marriage is not working, there's a workable solution, a marriage counselor. And he doesn't need to go to a fortune teller to tell him about his finances because he is already living that. If he's unwell, then there's a simple solution, a hospital. And fortunately, he can afford it. Number 1. The Lottery The lottery is a game of chance. You buy tickets hoping to have your lucky star shine on you, and there are only two outcomes to your participation, winning or losing. But statistics have shown that the odds of you winning the lottery are 292 million to 1. You're more likely to be attacked by a shark at 3.75 million to 1, or being struck by lightning at 1.2 million to 1, than to win the lottery. But have you ever asked yourself, who plays the lottery? If research is to be believed, people from poorer households spend more money on playing the lottery than rich people do. 
According to research, poor people feel stripped of the provisions that wealthy people enjoy, and by playing the lottery, they see it as the only option to help them acquire financial freedom. Rich people don't feel the need to spend their hard-earned cash on the 292 million to one chance that they'll win the lottery. So there you have it. Things rich people don't spend their money on. Do you have a rich people lifestyle? Or are there any of the tips above that you've been indulging in? We'd love to hear what you think about this segment. We also want to bring you content you want to see, so please leave a comment below with your thoughts on this video and any other suggestions that will make this channel better. And don't forget to share with your friends and family. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of savings tips and much more. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos of saving money tips, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.